Yo, Rana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. Hope you're all well. Uh, in this episode, we're going to play at least one match. If it's as quick, we'll fit in two, but probably at least just the one. Uh, against the um, Spearheads, uh, Nukahiva Spearheads, who are in the championship. But it's the start of our Inter Island Cup uh, defence. Between the last episode and this one, I only played one other match, and that was against Manue Island Society, which we won 3-2. 3-2 flattered Manue, to be honest. Um, Ahmed saved a penalty, we streaked into the lead, and we had two goals disallowed for offside, but it was a good performance considering we had even more players unavailable because we'd had so many banned from the kind of fight that was the ace chance uh, match. Lots of our players are now back from international duty, um, but a lot of them are tired, so we've still got a kind of slightly weakened squad. So a few people have come in that weren't available before, like Spearling, Maxina, uh, Yanin. But there's still plenty of others who are too tired after the Atoll Championship, so we'll have to wait for them to come back. Interesting. 4-2-3-1 wide. Let's see how this goes. Should be winning this one, to be fair. So one of the kind of things that has come up from the Atoll Championship is that we have our first international sacking uh, that we know of, anyway. So the Austral Islands manager, so the nation that Roro 2 are from in this data space, um, was sacked because Austral Islands only came, I think, third. That was close. Uh, the Austral Islands only came third in the... Um, uh, at all championship. So I obviously went and looked to see if I could apply for it and I can apply for an Austral Islands job but only the under 23s. So even though they've sacked their senior manager and should have a place available I can only apply for the under 23s and I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know whether that's just because I've got not got enough badges or whether they've got some kind of caretake that I can't find in there or maybe um there's still just not enough senior players, like players with professional contracts um, around. That means I can apply for that job. So I'm going to keep an eye on it and see what happens. It might be it's just still too early for us to get any kind of international um, jobs with teams that aren't Tahiti, because they've got the bigger database. Tahiti, Marquesa are the two bigger um, nations because they've got more teams playing for them. So it might be a little while. I'll keep an eye on it. Spearheads on the attack. Quite like their kit. Good tackle. Missed a lot of really good tackles recently. Oh, well taken by Yannin. Made him look like a fool. Oh, and Gerard skies it. Gerard's had a good start to the season. Considering he wasn't called up for the international side. I don't think he can play, but they've got, uh, is it Wilkinson or Nathanson? I think it's Wilkinson, um, who played for us in the Ace Chance match and scored, so they put a bid in for him uh, on loan. Um, we delayed it so he could play the matches for us, now we've let him go there as well, because with Yannin back, with Chisholm back, and then we've got Wallace, and we've got Gerard. That's enough good first choice strikers and then we've also got O'Keefe who's a youth striker he's the one who's not very strong at all gone spearling again good strike just not quite on target would really like to defend the uh, cup but if we get knocked out and do well in something else at the OCL I'd be fine with that Jared is getting tired from all these matches he's played at the start. Because he's played a lot of them as well, because we've not been able to have the options to bring him off quite often. Ooh, us. Yeah, we might have to bring him off now. We're going to chiss him. His fresh ish legs. Uh, Spearling come off for. Yes, Narendana, giving a little running, even though he's a bit tired. 
we'll hold off on any more subs for the moment. Stop him. Oh, and it goes. I might need to tweak some of our tactical settings just to stop that, but I'm not entirely sure how. I mean, I guess that'll be a setting from the corner kicks we'd have to change. It's the fact that he's there, but he doesn't close him down. We're already on counter press. Relatively high line of engagement, so I'm not quite sure what else to change. It's probably really obvious. Probably really obvious change. Any more subs? Pass for Weaver. Not the most attacking change, but it's not really much else we can do at this stage. Bit of a nothing match, isn't it? Ooh, close again for them. It looks like we're getting knocked out as reigning champions, just like Taha were in the first round last season. Okay, so that's one cup we're done and dusted with already. That's not great, is it? Um, might come back for another one. Yeah, we'll probably come back for another match because that wasn't very entertaining. I'll see you for our next league match, which against two pie. And we are back for the match against two pie. Um, they're seventh. We're currently first. But obviously, it's only two league games into the season, so nothing too telling at this point. Fairly even record against them. Whether it actually. Uh, through or not. We're actually able to get the one over on them this time, we'll see. Uh, Gerard's been benched because he's carrying a slight I say benched, he's been he's off the team because he's got a slight injury. So he wrote Wallace straight in and Chisholm's on the bench there. Uh Phil Lamb's come back in as well on the left. That's about it, really, for um, changes, sticking with what we've got. Because everyone else is still tired or unfit, so gradually start bringing them in after this. Add another look to see if I could bring any more players in, but the ones I want just aren't interested. Not interested at all, so I'll use my own youth products and things like that, rather than get some ones I'm not too interested in. Ooh. Oh, I thought wait was just gonna put that one in. Kiss the penalty instead. That'll do. Yeah, be good if we could take maximum points from the first three games. If we had such a terrible start last time, it'd be really good if we could just get the OCL qualification sorted out. So it's got his third goal of the season, and it is his third from the penalty spot as well. He's our kind of default penalty taker um, in most situations. The uh, transfer deadline is coming up soon, so we've had a few bids. Uh, there's a bid for Bolt from Tetero that came in, which we rejected. They're offering us nothing, and he's one of our first choice defenders. A few more loan offers that have come in that we generally accepted if they're kind of youth players that we're not going to rotate in. Yeah, a bit quiet, just waiting for it to get for the next thing. Get some long balls in there and then some wide balls. I'd like to see Yannin get off, open his account again for the season. I 
Hawks probably started the season strongly last season. Struggled. Best in Dubois, I don't know. That's the same one we got, was it? Ages ago. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that's nice. I think it's someone we looked at, but never actually then. Um, oh, I think it was maybe Florent Dubois or something like that. He was the top goal scorer in the championship in that first season that we signed, and then he scored one goal for us, and that was it. Again, not a great deal going on in this match. I mean, we out shooting them. Ever so slightly edging possession. What's going on elsewhere? Skybright's taking a lead, Pete. Boroboro taking lead over a chance. Taha have got some goals. Uh, Moria and the Eels played a couple of days ago and they drew with each other. That's good. Take some points off each other, which I'm completely happy with. Assertive. You can still improve. That'll do us. Plenty of uh, fans here. Apparently there's 807 tickets sold or something like that. Let's wait until it comes back up so I can see the uh, information. Cena's back in the team. Good ball to Wallace. Some more of you get it in. Douglas went on his own and it wasn't a bad attempt. Oh, 796 tickets sold. Another penalty. Maxina looked like he'd been knocked over there. Wait again. And another one. It's got a good record for the penalties. Don't need to see that one again. We've seen him score enough penalties now. Is it time for the counter attack? And in. Probably Yannin's in a bit of a goal drought. I think he's one of those kind of... He looks like more of a goal drought because he played a couple of matches at the end of the season where he didn't get anything. Rather than it being a genuine kind of goal drought. Good ball to Yannin. Oh, that's lucky. <laughs> Of uh, Killian Prost. Yannin smacked it against him. I think he's just trying to cross it or shoot a cross goal. That deflection was enough. Good ball over though. That long ball's working. It really is working. I do feel bad that Yannin didn't get that as a goal for himself. I think it was a pretty major deflection, but still. The defender doesn't want it, give it to him. Back at Tyron, so let's build up his fitness. Um, Chisholm can come on for Wallace to build up his fitness. Uh, and Johan can come on for Spearling to give him another start. Because now Narendonna and Spearling are back, he's going to have to fight them. Some starts. That's the problem with uh, getting Andre. Or Johan Andre actually had two good options already in there. Or if you count some of the youth prospects we've got, like Kerr, who played quite well against their manual societies. Sorry, you didn't see, because it was off camera. Come on. Let's get another one. A full route against them. Plus, 
we have been given a fairly easy first few games. Don't necessarily think it'll reflect our actual standing at the end. That we're kind of probably still first now at the end of this. But you can only beat the teams in front of you. Oh, good one for weight. It's hat trick. Set piece hat trick. Two penalties and a free kick. Fortunate deflection. Uh, we don't need to tell weight to ease off tackles, ass man. He do what he wants now. He's got a hat trick. Yeah, when you look at Wit's attributes, he doesn't really look like someone who should be scoring that many. I mean, he's free kicks, okay, yeah. We'll give him that, but... Everything else... Even his penalty taking is only a six. Yeah, I think this is just the... End of match highlight. So a confident and competent win, even if it was all from set pieces. Did play some good moves. But, you know, it wasn't all from set pieces, was it? That's, that's wrong. It was that own goal from Prost. But there we go. Pleased with that. So the more we win, the more fans will turn up to watch us do it again. So we're top of the table with three wins out of three. Massive difference from this time last season. Um, just need to build on this now. So yeah. Okay, so I'll come back in a few matches time. Uh, probably maybe for the Sky Brights and the Moria match. Or the Moria and the Moti one, we'll see. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. I shall see you later. Mm -hmm.